Do you often wish that you could breeze through books and articles faster without losing comprehension? Well, you're in the right place. In the next few minutes, I am going to share with you simple techniques that will turn you into a speed reader within 15 minutes or less. You are not slow and you do not need any special talents. You just need the right approach to reading. Get ready to boost your comprehension and reading speed right now. Let's get into it. <laughs> My name is Chelsea Ram. If you are new here, I am a law school graduate. I have three online businesses and multiple online courses for people trying to start online businesses of their own. On this channel, we talk all things productivity and well being. Okay, so, in this video, there are four and a half, I'm saying four and a half steps to becoming a speed reader because the last one isn't necessarily a step, it's just something to note, but it's very important. So, let's get into it. First thing that you need to do when you are reading to make Make sure you read fast is to read the table of contents. The table of contents is there for a reason. It's there to lay out the entire book. Prior to opening a book and starting to read it, you need to understand what you are about to read. So skimming the table of contents, realizing what the chapters are going to be about so you can know and you aren't surprised when you start to read something and what to expect. After you read the table of contents and you have a little bit of understanding about this reading book journey that you're about to go on, it's time to actually open the book and read the first chapter. Just kidding, you're actually not going to read it. The first thing that you do is skim the entire first chapter. And I mean skim, like take like 10 seconds for every page in that chapter and just read it from the top to the bottom. Okay, I should preface in here, this is primarily tips for nonfiction books. If you're reading a fiction book, I assume you're reading that for entertainment, so you don't necessarily want to speed read and skimming might actually be counterintuitive to what you want to do. So make sure this is for nonfiction books. You're skimming the entire chapter so that again, you know what to expect and you can kind of pull out the main points while you're skimming or just kind of have an understanding of, again, the journey that you're about to go on. It'll make it easier in the future when you actually start reading the chapter. Once you have spent like only a few minutes skimming the first chapter. You then go back to the first page of that chapter and you start reading. So I assume if you're watching this video you already know how to read so you just start reading but you read in a way that might be a little bit different. There are two main things that you're going to do when you're reading. If you do not use your finger already when you read, it's time to use your finger, get that finger stronger, take your pointer finger and literally read with your finger moving along the page as you read. You have to find a steady pace that works for you and make sure your eyes are following your finger as you read. If you come across something that you do not understand while you are reading, keep going keep going at that pace with your finger maybe you can slow down in like a small small amount if you're truly not understanding what you're reading but typically if there is a line or one small concept that you do not understand in the book if you are able to keep going until you finish that chapter your brain tends to fill in the blank and if it does not at the end of the chapter you can always go back and you can always reread that passage again with your finger of course to maintain a certain speed. Most of the times, surprisingly, I know your brain will actually fill in the blanks. Just try it. Just try it before you doubt me. Before you say, hey, like I get caught up on like little things. I don't understand them. It makes me not understand the entirety of the chapter or the entirety of the book. That's just untrue. You know, nonfiction books especially they, they don't have just like one thing. They often have multiple points throughout the book and in one chapter, there may be one or a couple points, but they tend to illustrate these points through examples, etc. And if you don't understand one example, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. You're still gonna get the main concept out of the book and you want to extract that information as quickly as possible. So therefore, it's really important not to get caught up when you don't understand something and just keep moving with the pace of your finger. Next step is to cut off words at the start and the end of the sentence slowly on a daily basis. So you are going to be using your finger to move across the page and read the words. The second day that you start doing this, or the first day if you're feeling adventurous, cut off the first word of the sentence. Do not place your finger on the first word, but instead place it on the second word, and then move all the way through the sentence until the last word, and do not touch the last word. Stop at the word before the last word. 
and then do that for a few sentences and then cut another word um, from the, the start the next day and another word at the end the next day until you get to a point where you feel like you can't cut out any more words and your finger is not moving from all the way to the one side of the page to all the way to the next it's like cutting out you know an inch from the right side and an inch from the left side of the page so that you have less to read you might think this might sound scary to you but you're smarter than you think your brain is going to start filling in those words peripherally you will see them and if you do not then you know maybe you're cutting off too many words i mean you have to read at least a few but you'll be surprised how many you can actually cut out. So just try this on a daily basis, cut out one or two extra words and see how far you can get with reading as little as you can to still absorb the information. That's how you truly get really fast at reading. And then the final thing, which is not necessarily a step, but more a note, is that if you are reading nonfiction, you're probably reading it to absorb a certain piece of information or learn something. And learning doesn't take place due to pace. I mean, sometimes it can even be cut down due to the speed that you're reading it, but typically it's not the speed that you're absorbing the information that is going to stop you from learning that information. It's typically the way we implement the information that we're learning. So if you're speed reading, that's great because you can get through a lot of nonfiction books. Ooh, almost said a bad word. You can get through a lot of nonfiction books really fast, but it's really important to remember to be implementing them. And for everyone that looks different and I can create a video on what implementation of nonfiction books look like. But for me, that looks like, you know, writing notes and actually taking the time to implement it in my life on a daily basis, whatever it is that I'm learning, um, implement the habits, implement the skills, write it in my agenda to actually implement them in my to-do list on a daily basis. Um, so just a final note to remember that you can speed read through a ton of nonfiction books. I know so many people that do it, but then you can't really see expect to see results if you're not taking the time to implement what you are reading. So make sure to remember to do that. If you liked this video, you should check out this video on how to get into a flow state fast. This applies to working, studying, so many things, and also to reading. So I would really recommend you check it out. Thank you for watching this far. Subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this and comment down below. I will respond to your comments.